This is my project for today. We have a Boos butcher block with a stainless steel cart with wheels. It uh, has been neglected for many years. We're going to sand it, clean it up, oil it up, and put it to good use. There's a lot of life left in this thing. And I'm hoping the oil helps with all this cracking. Like I said, I believe it's been a uh, it's been neglected for a lot of time. Um, there was a date on it. Six of 04. So it's not really ancient, but it is in need of some tender love and care. We're gonna start with this. What we're gonna to use today is 220 grit sandpaper on a random orbital sander. Let's get started. All right, if you look, it's not really doing what I think it needs to do. I'm not sure if it's got polyurethane or something on it. It's slick and very hard, but I may just go get an angle grinder with a flat disc on it. See if I can't clean it up a little better than this. This is, this is okay, I guess, but it's not gonna get it. Let's see what else I can do. All right, we're gonna change gears here. Harbor Freight Special here. 120 grit, flat disc. It's not too aggressive, but this wood is hard. So maybe, maybe it'll do all right. I'll just keep an eye on it. Anyway, so let's get started. Still not doing what I want it to do. See some burn marks starting to develop. I may go get a, a 36 or 38 grit disc and see if we can't cut it. I believe this right here was a used, used pad to begin with and it, uh, it may be burning it more than cutting it. Found another 120 that wasn't, it's not as abused as the other. I may try it out first. Still have a little bit of burning going on. I'm going to change out and put the 36 on see what happens.
that's doing the trick there. Sure enough. Look at the difference. I feel better about eating something off of this that's been cut on this than I will this other surface. All right, continue on. I believe that's gonna come out pretty good there. It's looking a lot better. Got some of the stains off. I think I am gonna take the, the orbital sander with the 220 grit and put it on there and see how slick it gets before I go too far with this. But this is, this is taking it off pretty good. All right, I've got it flipped up on the side here because I'm going to do the sides. I've got to figure out what I can do, maybe tape it up, cut it out nice. I don't want to disturb that because it's just, it's just like paint. Here's the underside, which doesn't look too bad. I'll go ahead and do the whole block, all four sides. That way it can all be started from brand new. It's not looking too bad. This is end grain maple. These are all the end grains. That's what makes it so hard. I guess that's why I was burning it before. It's just extra hard wood. All right, it's not gonna get done by itself. I think for taping up here at the name, I'm just gonna use some, some regular Gorilla duct tape and just try to cut it. That should work. And just cut me a length of it here. I think that'll work. I am very pleased at how this came out. This will be the top side that we used. I think I'm gonna leave it to the top so that all the lettering, see where I covered it up, that looks pretty good. And the date stamp are still oriented right. Turned out pretty dang awesome. All right, now that I've got it rinsed off, I need to set the block off 
let it dry in the sun and then start working on the aluminum cart. I think on this cart, I'm gonna start with some soapy water and a scrub brush. I may start on the very bottom, bottom, flip it over upside down, and get it clean from that side, flip it back over right side up and scrub away. Turned out pretty dang good. Gonna let the wood portion here, chop and block, finish drying. We got some oil, food grade oil from Boos. We're gonna put it back together and call it done. It's been an awesome project. We got our block oil here. And a clean microfiber. We're going to apply at least one coat. This is the bottom. We're going to apply one coat on it and the sides. Let it set for a little bit. See if it absorbs any more. And then uh, if it doesn't, we'll flip it over and put it on the cart. Put it on the cart. It's all dry and clean. And we'll reapply to the top side of the block. It sure took on the oil. Probably used over half that bottle. I'm gonna give it a day or so and maybe go through with another coat. But I am very pleased with how my bargain butcher block turned out. Look at that. Looks like new money. I like it. I think I'm gonna leave this up. Uh, I'm gonna call it a character crack alone and see what happens. The top doesn't look terrible, not for me. We're gonna actually use it. So that doesn't bother me at all. I'm gonna add some finishing touches, stainless steel polish on the bottom here. That makes that stainless steel shine like new money. All right. I like it. 